They say we've been living in the shadows for some time now. They. Ha! The ones who say we're evolving, maturing. But wouldn't that imply progress, dear listeners? Am I simply implying you're even listening? Not blocking me out with those impervious earbuds? We still sit in the dark theater, alert, engrossed, captivated. Unless it's subtitled. We don't want to read shit. That warm glow of the film showering over us, the dulcet tones of the projector whirring away, although it's more of a purr now. Are we regressing? Don't worry, bro. I got a nap for that. Makes your dick bigger, too. We thought having them wear less would help, but no. We never needed such stimuli. We had women, real ones, and they were boom traculous. But back to our topic. See what you did to me there? Maybe I'm drinking your Wonder Brew. I can't keep my head on a single path. I should probably tweet now. At whom gives a shit, OMG, my mud fucking head ain't right. Don't worry, bro. Here's a Red Bull. Soon you'll be back to basics. Indeed. The theater, the place where we used to gather in the thousands. Rich, poor, educated. Whatever we are now. Um, no, I don't need to go to the theater. I got minute popcorn to make and 30 second nachos to eat while I watch my 90 inch TV. Sounds like someone's overcompensating. Yeah, but my TV has Facebook and links to my phone. Oh yes, bravo. Fan-fucking-tastic. Is there a button I can press to shut you the fuck down? Whatever, old man. Is that a fucking TV? I'm watching this episode of Real Housewives and Man Bag Central on my iPhone X. Oh yes, well how's that working for you? Whatever, as long as I don't have to pay attention to my family, or the news. At least watch a Blu-ray, you poor, poor bastard. Blu-ray? What the fuck is that? You ever heard of Netflix, Brosif? I could watch every single episode of Two and a Half Big Bangs. Oh, please, be my guest. I don't need you at the theater. Something tells me you eat loudly. Well, I would, but it's still buffering. Yes, we have a new god, don't we? Progression. Hold that word valuable, dear listener. Assuming you haven't just gone to the phone to check the weather. I got news for you. It hasn't changed since the last time you brought out that bright vortex of diversion. Plus, you live in California. Just gonna call this one, Sonny. Dear God, it's been three minutes without music. Quick, drop a beat. Yes, that's much better. Now we can throw down. Audience retention rate at a waning 50%. Look at what you've done, editor. They're gone. I hope you're happy with yourself. Uh, well, I just thought... Don't you dare pander to them. You're the reason, part of the problem. Reason and image leading to motivation may be your credo as you sit behind that lonely desk. Are you the new god we speak of? A noble creator grafting our cortex? Of course not. You're far too base. You're a pawn, following, jumping on the trend. Well, we as an audience are maturing. We can handle new, faster ways of editing. That may be, but you can't stand a shot that is more than a fucking second too long. But it's show, don't tell. Modern audiences don't want to be led. We've learned to follow a story and to watch what we want, when we want it. Excuse me, good sir. This from a grown-ass man at a grown-ass college with crossing guards? Yes, show, don't tell. That's what it should be. The mantra ingrained in the brain. Wish they would add the footnote telling you not to show every fucking thing. But how are they meant to read it that way? Oh, I thought we had matured. Yeah, but... Enough, you cyst. How you bore me. Fifty years ago, we watched as man went to the moon. Yeah, but I want to go to Cancun. Now we have to make it smaller, faster, and a way to watch reality bro island escapades. That's my favorite show. Is there no peace to your hounding, even at a concert, a venue for deep connection with the performance? You're there capturing it as a stippled image on your device. Um, yeah, but it was an important night to me, and I want to remember it forever. Hey, bro Haim, you were at a fucking U2 concert. As people come out, they try and forget it happened. Apologies, dear audience. Back we travel to the topic at hand. Picture. A conversation, if you will. Two film majors speaking of the craft. Yeah, well, I just saw this great film. Oh, really? Why, tell me, good sir. What is this title you speak of? Um, it was the one by the guy, you know, uh, the master. 
Oh, brilliant. You mean one of the first films in years to be shot and projected in 70mm? A film with breathtaking cinematography? Yeah, that's the one. And tell me, noble sir, were you lucky enough to view this visual marvel in the manner the director wished? No. I downloaded it and watched it on my laptop. You again? How did you get back into this meditation? Yeah, one second, brah. I gotta send this text. And so we melt down, congeal, and form to a sludge. If only they could see what we've become. Don't you sit back, seniors. No time to be smug. You should know better. From your manners, one assumes they didn't teach you how to whisper 90 years ago. Oh, what's that riveting morsel of information you have to tell your friend in perfect audible volume? Get out! You have the same tea towels as the old lady in the movie. That's amazing. I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. Please, pause the movie so we can discuss. <sighs> Maybe this is all in my head, dear viewer. Maybe we're fine. Ruminate on the facts as I buffer away, lost in the web of rants and bro bags. We're moving to the future. The past was the future. <laughs>